shall, shall I start? Yes, please do. Please start. Once upon a time, there was a white elephant who could talk like human beings. The funniest animal was a white elephant, but his mother was old and blind. One day, the elephant suggested to his mother to go and live distant cave. The mom agreed. But what happened? Let's see. In one day, the elephant heard a cry coming from the forest. Help! Help! I'm lost in the woods! I'm lost in the woods! The elephant heard the voice and said for his mother, Mother, I want to help the man. His mother said, No, my son, no! Your goodness will be routed by treachery. But the elephant doesn't hurt his mother and went to help the man. When the elephant arrived, the man said, oh, I have been lost in the woods for the last seven days and I want to come back home. The elephant said, I will arrive you for your home. Just climb on my back. Climb on my back. I will help you to arrive from your home. The elephant carried the man for his home. But the man was greedy. The man, when he left the town, he was now that the king let that the king lost his favorite elephant. The man went to the king and said, I found a very, very beautiful elephant who is all and he's also could talk. The king said, really? The man said, yes. And I just want you to allow it to me to give it. But I need a turner. The, the king said, yes. And the king allowed for the man. The turners, the tur the turners captured the elephant. But after a few days, the attorneys came to the king and said, Majesty, your majesty, the elephant doesn't eat nothing and he's very sick. The, majesty, the, the king said, what? After that, the king went to the elephant and said for him, why are you not eating? Why are you not eating? The elephant said, how I could eat? And my mother, my poor blind mother is starving. The king said, oh, sweet elephant, I will, I will allow for you to be freedom and go for your poor old mother. The elephant said, thank you, majesty, thank you. And he went running, running, and crushing in the forest for a ride for his mother. When he went, when he arrived, he saw his mother. She was tired, but she was alive. He was so happy. Mom, mom, I missed you. The mother said, I missed you too, my son. I missed you. The, the elephant told his mother this story and his mother said, you see, my son, you see, the people are not good. The people are not good. I told you that will happen. The elephant said, it's okay, mother. Let's, let's, let's think. All, let's only think about the goodness of the king. Uh, yeah, that is it. That is a very beautiful and very powerful story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that gift. Thank you.
I just say, John, thank you, Dima. You, I heard you tell that story yesterday. You told it even better today. Fantastic <laughs> storytelling. And John, is there a moment for Hanin, Dima's teacher, just to, just to say something? I, I, I will, as, as it's Hanin, I will allow her to say something. <laughs> But she has to unmute first. There we go. Oh, thank you. This is very kind of you. Thanks a lot. Feeling so privileged being here among you, great storytellers all over the world. I'm feeling more proud of the most creative student that I've ever taught, Dima. This lovely girl was living a kind of abnormal circumstances just a few weeks ago. She was uh, suffering from horror. She was listening to bombings every night and still we can see that she's able to grant safety to all of us when we were listening to the story and she's able to grant us strength and power when she was acting out all the moments in the story and still she's very hopeful that there's goodness in the world by ending the story of saying, let's think about the goodness of the king and just forget about the treasury. So we Palestinian here from Palestine, from Gaza, we just believe that there is massive goodness in the world as long as there are people like you who are supporting our kids. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Hanine.